This is the energy vibration reading for all the sun, moon, and rising Capricorns. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for supporting my channel. Um, I want to apologize to all the people who have been asking for reading. It is um, so busy and I have a full time job. So I'm sorry for the lateness of the readings. Please um, have patience with me um, um, because it's a really busy time thank you for being here please like share these videos please listen to the sun moon and rising sign for you capricorns it's going to be a wonderful month and why is this going to be such a wonderful positive month it is because this month is a sort of a clearing this month is bringing back your financial situation in balance so whatever situation whatever financial situation that was out of balance is going to be brought back in balance and this is going to be extremely extremely good okay so um as we look at this month i'm sorry i was checking out um this month is the month of the hurt so it's going to be your month you capricorns because the hurt balance you capricorns okay the hurt balance you Capricorn and bring wonderful good good things it is balancing out your financial situation so whatever has been happening with your financial situation you Capricorn you have the four of Pentacles and the four of Pentacles is always a time when you're balancing out whatever um, financial situation that you have had that was not in accordance to how you would like to have it and uh, there is a balance to this and this is good so you know it, uh, it is wonderful I love using these cards and why I love using these cards it's because there are special information and um, these cards bring out positive energies to a lot of situations and uh, this is why I personally I don't give a personal reading with these cards because I think that these cards are much um, better um, for the people um, who are <laughs> but the people who are um, more focused so the four of Pentacles is first suggested as a materialistic gain and stable okay so a lot of you are going to have materialistic gains and stable this is you know a time when um, uh, only good news from your bank account and your home yet still underneath the surface this is a card of warning and do not become passive of what you have and controlling holding on a too tight on your material world will leave you um, rigid and stranded so um, you know the dis displeasing to others wealth is a concept wealth is a concept okay so this is good I like this um, deck I really really love this deck because this deck bring out a lot of wonderful positive um, situations okay so this month this month is an earth energy month you begin the month with water and you end the month with fire uh, it's a, going to be a positive month because of what I see here it's going to be five months um, in this um, month with these five weeks you are going to um, be um, really balanced so let's look and see what is happening because um what is happening you have three um two the number two the number two energy is going to be constantly um portals doors um whatever is happening is that you'll be working for the people who are very psychic you'll be you'll be um working in the, in the heartly form and the spiritual form so um, a, a portal um, is going to open especially for the people who are uh, vibrating in the fourth and fifth dimension because um, I find out that it started it started a while and um, you're in the spirit world but yet still you're in the um, hurt form, but in the spirit world and yet still so um, I know what it's like for people who um, are already vibrating in the fourth and fifth dimension especially the fifth because you're always coming back to the fourth and the fourth is always going back to the third so there is a lot of stuff that is going on and yet still people do not understand what is happening on uh, in the earth at this time sorry 
I'm talking so fast so number two so a lot of portals a lot of tools a lot of dualities is going to happen for you Capricorns okay um, let's uh, see also what other messages are here for you guys because I'm using different um, decks because um, my angels and guides want to there's a lot of uh, talking there's going to be good new contracts there's going to be people who are going to be wanting to connect with you they're going to be wonderful um, things happening um, be careful of people um, taking off with um, your money okay be 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 careful um, if you have a business be careful that everyone is paying you I am seeing this at the end of the month so be aware of that okay let's begin the first week is an fire week this fire week is good because it's the wheel of fortune it's destiny um, positive positive situation is going to happen to you in the first week of November because when the wheel of fortune comes it brings you luck but yet still it brings you happiness and joy if you are planning something in the first week do it it's a yes go ahead the daughter of Pentacles is here so there is a message that is coming in um, about money information is going to come in about money there is a little jealousy and people are talking gossiping but whatever you know people can always you know when people sit and break down other people and gossip they never make anything of themselves so whatever they're saying about other people that's exactly what is happening to them okay it's like a boomerang effect and I constantly constantly try to explain to you guys uh, Second week is the week of injustice. Whatever that was, injustice is now um, balancing out, and you are going to be connecting. So new contracts. Um, there is, um, there is. Um, now you're seeing things clearly. Now you're seeing exactly what's happening, what had happened. So you're seeing things clearly. Whatever that has happened, it is now clear. It is in balance. Um, justice came in because you asked for help from the universe, and the universe came in. This, if you notice, there's a double whammy. I keep on getting these double whammy for every sign. They get them in difference. So the universe is saying something. You have justice, which is number eleven and then you have the two of swords so you are seeing clarity to a situation and what is gonna end up is that you um, if you're looking for work if you're looking to connect to groups if you are looking if you're waiting if you were waiting for work permit green cards um, whatever you were, were waiting for from government institution organization and that sort of a thing it's gonna happen to you because um, it's you it's 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 the time now that the portals the energies are going to be changing and bringing in this sort of a situation so if you're looking for work to you are going to find the the perfect work in the second week um, information is going to come in you're going to find the perfect work that you have been looking for and where you would like to be okay as we move forward we have in the third week you are going to sacrifice something you're going to be given up something but yet still giving up something you're going to be protecting yourself and this is so wonderful because the rainbow rays are here so whatever the situation is in in this third week call upon the universal angels and a rainbow ray to float to you and surround you um, ask the rays of the rainbow all colors all different colors and then it will heal all of your 12 chakras you have more chakras but with the rainbow color there is a man there is someone who is looking at you and find you rather interesting that he has so much appreciation and he is really recognizing the beauty that you are that uh, of or whoever you are your soul this person is going to be standing by you so um, in the third week maybe um, because I know Thanksgiving is coming up maybe you're going to be having visitors maybe you're connected with people and there is someone so this man whoever this man is he really loves you it's a very psychic man this man is going to help you to awaken also your psychic and he really cares about you for some people um, you 
or letting go or you're moving away this man seems to be um, spying on you for some people it's as if you have left a relationship behind and the person is still driving past to see if you're there um, you know trying to ask questions about you where you are and that sort of a thing so for some people you're going to be connecting with someone but for some people someone is going to be stalking you I'm sorry <laughs> Um, someone that you decided not to go um, forward with and this person is going to be stalking you I'm sorry guys <laughs> yeah yes this is what is going to be happening okay um what is good is that we have temperance twice but in um, the fourth week in the fourth week we have the energy of transformation transformation is coming up with temperance so there's a transformation that is going to happen in the fourth week and it's coming up with temperance but it's going to be good because you have the energy of the star the star is always the energy of success so in the fourth week there's a transformation so let's say promotions let's say you have um, and uh, um and and before daily um where they you know you have um um you have met with a group who decide to take you on board and keep you permanent and that sort of a thing um for some people who um people who wrote books you're going to be very successful um if you publish your book in this week people who try to help others uh, especially people who are trying to help others with via a book or via your website um, a connection um, whatever way you try to connect with people to help people um, you are going to find out that the universe is going to bring you something wonderful to say thank you okay so this is going to be positive as we look at the fourth and last week we have again um, transformation again we have transformation um, temperance we have temperance which is so strange we have the nine of Pentacles so whatever your materialistic world is it's going to be, get better you're going to now in the last week you're going to now financially in balance the last week is going to make you financial in balance your health you're going to feel much healthier much happier um, your wishes and dreams are going to come true whatever you're planning in the fourth week it's going to be good it's going to be positive it's going to be good your health is you're going to feel healthy again you're going to feel as if you are breathing you're living again this is good especially um, for the people with health problems this um, with health problems your situation is going to um, get better okay if you have a situation with health problems it's going to get better your financial situation is going to be balanced out so this this is a good week the fourth week for you guys are a very very good week I have a second message here um, sometimes I get this with a Capricorns I don't know why um, I, I've been asking why but sometimes um, I get this okay this energy is a, is um, the energy of the ones okay so it's a situation with work so that is happiness there's a situation with work and you have the six of ones good news is about to come in about work but be careful because um, it can either stress you out and you're going to get an invitation so a lot of people are going to get promotions a lot of people are going to get good promotions but be careful that they don't cheat you out of what you're supposed to get this can also be you're working too hard that you um, are becoming very stressful because rots is stressful or rots are stealing something so it could be that they're stealing something from your work or that sort of a thing but um, this is an invitation and this is good so at the end of the month you're going to receive an invitation take that invitation it's as if uh, um, someone is going to invite you um, to either come and work for them take that invitation don't even second guess it take the invitation okay um, 
um, there's a lot of promotion that is going to happen for a lot of you um, Capricorns at work this is all about work this is all about invitation new work new possibilities new uh, situation that is going to come in but make sure that you don't overwork yourself because these two good news is going to end distress if you take on too much you are going to be very overstressed okay so um, this is very important so you have to understand Understand what is going to happen that it can happen so your last week you Capricorns is one of positive so your uh, second week and your third week your second week third week fourth week and last week is going to be good the first week you know as a matter of fact this month for you guys are good okay but it's just that in the third week the relationship thing and the person who's going to be stuck in someone out there is as if you put an end to the relationship but yet still the person is coming um, is coming back um, at you so you have to be very careful how you do and what you do okay because this can have an effect on you so you know whatever is happening you know I've always said to people um, you know just be careful just be nice you never know who there's going to be a lot of verbal communication a lot of negotiations that is going to be going on this is going to be good because a lot of people are going to be negotiating over their new contract so a lot of people are going to have new contracts new agreement multiple contracts that uh, is going to be happening this is all about business contract that is going to be happening in the two first week okay um um, be careful uh, in the second week the contracts that you're going to be signing make sure that those agreements are platform agreements okay because you're going to have multiple contracts coming in uh, first week is going to be a lot of um, conversation and uh, it's going to be all about money so if you have a business the first week is just going to be booming second week also okay the third week is going to be um, I think a lot of you are going to someone is going to ask the ends in marriage to a lot of you Capricorns yes yes um, yes I'm, 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 I'm receiving it that someone is going to ask you Capricorns for the ends of marriage um, yes the ends of marriage um, a lot of you are going to be asked, um, yeah, uh, the ends of marriage. So maybe you are asking, or maybe someone is asking you. And um, the third week is all about relationships and long lasting relationship. Um, uh, people who have been married for a very long time, the bonds are going to be um, strengthened. The universal angels, it's as if your relationship has been blessed, and some people are going to be asked to be married. Someone wants to marry you. So <laughs> this is going to be wonderful for you, Capricorns. This, this is going to be extremely good. So um, whatever is happening and you know if you truly love this person if this person is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with and um, you know you have lived with him for a while and uh, you know you, you you have gone through so much in life uh, go for it someone very successful a successful man man or men are going to ask you Capricorn women uh, your ends of marriage okay a very successful person a very successful man um, I say successful but other people will say a rich man so in the third week for week um, which is the fourth week is going to be Thanksgiving um, and um, someone is go a lot of people are going to be asked the ends of marriage and I personally um, if you think that this is a person for you because this man is very successful um, uh, some of the men are successful some of the men are psychic and some of the men are dreamers so <laughs> some of the men yeah are psychic some of the men are very successful men and some of the men are dreamers if you know I've known this man for a while and he asks you to end in marriage please do um, and if that's what you deeply feel do that because it's going to happen okay it's not 
a question it is going to happen so please say yes whoever you are and you feel deep down inside a big win you're going to have a big win some of you are going to have a big a huge win if you say yes to this man you are going to have a huge win because this is going to be the right relationship the right person for you okay so you are going to have a big win some people are going to have um um uh, some people are going to be very much ad admire ad admired and a lot of honors and praise acolytism is going to come in for a lot of you whatever the situation is whatever you're dealing with whatever you have dealt with in your life and you're trying to bring balance that success is going to be coming to you a lot of people are going to be having invitations so if you're looking for work the this month is 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 is, 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 is as if the universe and you have the energy vibration of the world is saying to you capricorns yes whatever you're thinking to start go ahead and do it because you have the energy of the universe back in you okay so success is going to come to a lot of you um um, the energy vibration it lets just um, sudden um, accomplishments and a lot of karma um, 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 a sex appeal a lot of you will be um, you know sending off the sex appeal okay career expect unexpected success in your career things are going to be changing for the good in your health okay your body is you're going to be feeling an eye energy vibration in your body or you're going to really be connecting um, with situation in your body a lot of invitations are coming out for a lot of you Capricorn so and whenever invitation is uh, um, to successful events uh, um, good parties and that sort of a thing a whole lot of people are you know are you're going to be connected and people are going to be inviting you out and it's going to be good okay let's see what we have with the chakras release some of you need to release people situation um, that has been happening to you and um, um, less gossip ladies and gentlemen stop gossiping okay don't gossip because whatever you gossip can have an effect on you no more gossip please stop the gossiping because whatever we speak about other people it is coming back around to us so we need to stop no more gossiping we need to stop this gossiping we need to release a lot of stuff and um, there's going to be a bit of sweet time um, for some people it may happen um, and, and and this is between the third week and the fourth week the bit is sweet and you're going to discover something a discovery is going to be made and this discovery can be for the people in the fourth and fifth dimension is that um, certain universal beams and guides are going to be connected with you and your third eye is going to be opening up and you're going to be um, vibrating at a, a very a, a higher energy vibration and this is going to attract a lot of people to you and this is going to balance out a lot of other people energies okay whatever the bittersweet is I can tell you that you need you have no need to worry about whatever that bittersweet was you just need to release certain things you just need to understand that you are here on this planet um, for a time and there are certain things that you need to learn please stop gossiping because gossiping isn't good um, if you want to gossip gossip with your angels and guides because whatever you say um, which is good they're going to reverse the energies and bless you okay all right um, let me go on let me um, look and see the zodiac energies for the fire for the Sun people and for the moon people what is here what do the Capricorns and who are the Capricorns Sun people going to work with um, in this month Mars Leo's and the Pisces Mars Leo's and the Pisces and the lunar people the moon people Mercury yeah and Librans whoa and the Uranus Ooh, huge changes Uranus 
when Uranus comes in it's huge changes okay let's look at the Sun moon okay alrighty for the Sun people remember these are people who were born between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. you have to deal with the planet Mars the planet Mars is one of those planets that I really don't want to have in my birth chart because it's gonna it's gonna create havoc with your career okay um, you sun people Leo's you're going to have to be dealing with the Leo people and the Pisces the Pisces are not bad because Pisces and Capricorns are very good together okay so they're not bad it's going to be very good okay the Pisces people with the Capricorns are very good um, they go well but the, the the Leo's and it depends the Leo's um, Wow, they can be they can be a chance, Sam. This, you know, but for you fire people, the Leos are coming in um, to awaken your inner passion, and which is very very good. As we look forward to the Moon people, that is people who were born after six p.m. till. 6 a.m. you have mercury so you're going to learn your magic again you're going to um, make magic for yourself then we have uh, Librans the Librans are coming in to bring balance with you so a lot of um, Capricorns will realize that they're having a lot of Libra friends the last time okay and it is okay because you're changing your zodiac energies are changing and then Uranus oh my god I gotta see what Uranus is going to bring in for you Capricorns Capricorns, because when Uranus is in your bird chart, oh my gosh, he is going to bring you. He's going to stir up your life. Okay, let's see what Mercurius have for the Capricorns. You need to learn from mistakes. Um, will less will lessen your fear learning from mistake will lessen your fear so whatever whatever the situation was and whatever that was happening you need to learn from mistakes will lessen your fear so as you learn from mistakes you're going to realize that your fear is going to be lessons which is good so you are not no longer going to be afraid of anything uranus oh wow Uranus and the Capricorns. Oh my God! Uranus and and Mercury. Uranus and Mercury. And uh, you know when these planets are working with you, things may not be as they seem, and it is possible to be fooled or misleaded by illusion. Look below the surface so for you moon people something is going to be happening with a Libran because this Libran is bringing this it's a mercury and um, um, hold on uh, yeah Uranus and Mercury let's look at what Uranus and Mercury question authority question authority speak true uh, speak truth to power find the words that inspire truly meaningful changes in your world so it says question authority so whatever the situation that is happening you need to question authority why why certain things and speak the truth to power find the words that inspire truly so there's a lot of you whatever situation that you're having with authority figures and that sort of a thing question it why and research things and you know whatever it is come up with the information and show them that what they're saying is not correct because sometimes um, they're so busy that they're not aware of certain things and you need to question um, um, you know when you know when you know the information and someone in authority is telling you something else you need to make sure you have the right information because it is you know Google is something that can just you can Google anything and find it okay so ladies and gentlemen boys and girl I am uh, oh I have to do your, your vortex card okay I'm sorry by the 30 minutes um vortex 
you have my thoughts join a powerful um, um, swear of, of vortex of attraction okay and it says in the same way of the law of attraction it uh, um, responds to the thought words action that you are offering here in your physical reality the law of attraction is always responding powerfully to your um, um, vibrational reality when the law of attraction of the universe manage of all um, vibrational response to the clarity of the vibration offered by your expansion in a beam the result is a powerful swing of a vortex of attraction okay so this is extremely good i want to say to you thank you for being here namaste